You're training this guy? Your parents you may need Jordan's help. Yo, what is going on guys? Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on Superman and Lois Season 2. And for this video, we have some set photos to go over. This is coming from Just Jared as well as Canada Graphs. Both of their blogs will be linked in the description down below in case you guys want to check out more photos that I wouldn't have added on this video. Or in the case of Canada Graphs, you can see like his experiences on set. He does talk about some various different things he saw while they were filming. So if any of these interests you, you guys could go ahead and check out their blog pages. As I said, they're linked in the description down below. But yeah, I have not done a Superman and Lois video in such a long time. It's not that I just didn't want to. It's just that I didn't have time. I've been I've been very busy when the episodes were airing. So I am really, really glad that I found the time to cover these set photos for Superman and Lois because I've been loving season two. But unfortunately, I've not been able to be as consistent for this season as I was for like other shows, for example. But yeah, I'm really, really glad that I found the time to do this Superman and Lois video. And what a perfect time because we got our first look at Superboy. And we do have some additional other things to go over in regards to these set photos as well, which you guys might have missed. But yeah, during this season of Superman and Lois, we have had some very interesting storylines taking place. We obviously got Bizarro revealing himself as the big bad of the season, or at least with half of the season, we don't know yet. But we do obviously have more Superboy set up with Jordan's character with General Samuel Lane pretty much agreeing to train him. But in regards to the other brother Jonathan, he has obviously been on the wrong path of things and he starts dosing himself with substances which I cannot name, otherwise this video will probably get blocked or I could get demonetized. But he has been consuming some substances, most specifically excryptonite. But yeah, this is going to lead him into, I'm gonna guess, a pretty dark path and will also lead to an addiction as well because he is taking those specific substances. In regards to these set photos, however, we do have an idea to where this character's journey will go and obviously I'll be giving you guys my overall thoughts and theories to all of this as well. But before I go over anything, however, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. So yeah, firstly, we do have a couple of photos of Tyler Hecklin as Superman going around and meeting fans. He's taking photos and stuff like that. Now, you could tell that his cape is all messed up. It's torn apart, so he has most probably been in some sort of battle. However, he does also have a cape shape similar to Bizarro's with it all being like torn up and stuff like that. So we do know that Bizarro's cape is also torn apart. Pretty similar to how Clark's cape is torn apart in this set photo over here. So this could either be Clark battle damaged as Canada Graphs does say on his blog or this could actually be Superman from another Earth before he becomes Bizarro. It could also be Bizarro possibly combining with Clark as well because they did establish in the previous episode that the necklace does kind of merge the two together. So yeah, anything between those that I've mentioned is possible over here. One thing that could suggest that it is not our Clark is also the belt. As you guys can see from this shot over here, which is from like episode three or four, and if you guys can look closely to the belt, Clark has a pretty detailed red belt with the House of L logo on the buckle. Whereas if we have a look at this set photo over here, the belt transitions from red and just fades to blue. And it does not have the House of L logo as the buckle. Of course, the belt could have just been tweaked or... It, it could actually be another version of Superman. That is also possible. But yeah, we do have this other shot of Tyler Hecklin also going around taking photos with fans as well. Now, moving on, we do see someone next to Clark. And this is indeed Jonathan Kent himself as Superboy. He has an eyeliner, a mohawk, a very basically punk style outfit. And the most obvious, the House of L logo t-shirt. So pretty much, Jonathan has become Superboy. Now, in regards to Jordan, he is obviously not in these set photos, so I am interested to see what's going on with him. It is possible that he could be dealing with something else. Maybe he's still training with General Samuel Lane while this is happening. Who knows? But in regards to this look for Jonathan, 
I really do not like it. I'm not a fan of the punk style outfit to the mohawk. I just really do not like it. I don't think it really helps at all with him concealing his identity. If it does have something to do with that. But overall, I am really not a fan of this look. But I will let it kind of slide because it's obviously new. I didn't, you know, see it for a long time yet. So maybe it will grow into me. And also, this is obviously just an origin newbie suit for now. He is obviously, and most probably Jordan as well, he will most probably get some sort of a suit upgrade eventually. I do also realize they took inspiration from con -El as well, but I'm just not a fan of this look. I don't know. Like, I see a lot of people really digging it, but I'm just not a fan of it. Over here in this shot, it does seem like Clark and Jonathan are teaming up together to face off against someone. Most probably Bizarro or it could be another like bad guy or metahuman, whatever it could be. But yeah, we do have other angles and shots of Jonathan suited up as Superboy. It is a really interesting and it is a pretty cool storyline. It does seem like this ex-Kryptonite addiction will lead to him becoming Superboy or something along those lines at least. Maybe he could be a darker Superboy due to these substance consumptions and then Jordan could possibly be the actual Superboy and we could potentially be getting some conflicts between the brothers like that as well. It is also possible that due to the excessive amount of ex-Kryptonite Jonathan could consume he just permanently becomes a Kryptonian as well, adding on to the fact that he is already half Kryptonian. But I would definitely expect some sort of conflict taking place between the brothers if this is genuinely on Earth Prime. We do kind of see that established in the promo for next episode where we do have Jonathan swinging at Jordan and Jordan falls down. So Jordan will be suspicious of that anyways. This could also be that Jonathan's hiding the ex-Kryptonite addiction and he could just tell his parents and Jordan that, oh, his... Kryptonian abilities just magically appeared and then after the change of personality and behaviors the character will go through they will slowly start to notice maybe that is what's going on over here but yeah as I said due to the way Clark Kent is looking in these images as Superman I am pretty damn certain that this is going to be some sort of flashback scene to Bizarro's world and we will see how this version of Superman pretty much becomes Bizarro which most probably means that we are going to see the death of this version of Superboy. It is possible. Another thing which leads me to this assumption that this is not our Jonathan is that from the way the character is established on the show right now, this is certainly not something he would wear. And like have a mohawk, all of that. This is not something this version of Jonathan we've been established with would do. Of course, as I said before, it could be to just disguise his identity or something like that. But still, from where Jonathan is at right now, it is not something he would wear. But who knows, maybe we could see a change in personality for him in the next couple of episodes of the show, and then that could slowly lead to him wearing those styles of outfits and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, it is very exciting that we are seeing Jonathan having these Kryptonian powers. I'm really interested to see where the storyline will develop. Are we going to have Superboy brothers with Jordan and Jonathan? Or are we going to have more conflict going on? I don't know. It's going to be very interesting. It's exciting to see Superboy. But unfortunately, I'm not a fan of the look. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think about this look. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.